what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so today's vlog not really sure what direction i'm gonna take it with um i do want to get started with uh grinding these welds down and hitting it with body filler but i know that's gonna be a longer process so what i think i'm gonna do is start with the headlight harness so this headlight harness i ordered it from carrot top tuning um, it was about $360, not sponsored by them or anything like that. Paid full price. Um, so I took a look at the harness, and so far I really like how everything is. Everything is labeled. As you can see, that's for the AC. Um, that's for the side marker. Uh, there's one for city light. You can see that says SM for side marker. Um, you know, so really awesome because... I do have Euro spec headlights, and as you can tell, I have crappy um, little spade connectors. So having that harness, um, those connectors will go straight into here, which is going to be great. Um, and then these headlight connectors are all old and corroded and things like that. So my headlight harness has not been fully functional. And then, of course, I also have side markers. And uh, those aren't even on because I don't want to tap into any more wiring. So this is perfect because it's got brand new headlight. Well, it's got brand new connectors on everything. So these are for the corner lights, um, city lights. And um, that's for the uh, radiator fan. Um, you know, so really excited to get started on the install for this. So I need to remove the front bumper. I need to remove the fenders. And um, I'll show you guys how I routed the OEM harness. And um, yeah, so let's get started on it and let's see how much progress we can get made. So before you get started on this video and you get started on the install, if you're trying to find the way to do it, watch it all the way through. Um, there is a few things where I personally messed up on installing it on my car. Um, so just watch the video all the way through before you start using this as a guideline for your install and um, Just drop a comment below if you have any questions regarding the um, regarding the install But I uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, thanks for watching So I do got to take the bumper off take the fenders off uh, the bumper is only held on by the side tabs I was uh, replacing or repairing one of the mounts uh, So let me air the car up and we can uh, remove the fenders and the bumper and all that and get to get to start on the install so really cool thing that i love about the uh, airbag system is you can connect via bluetooth and just air up the car like this So I got the passenger side off, but as you guys can see, like, dude, this wiring is all jacked up. And dude, it, this has been like this since the day I bought the car like eight years ago. Never addressed it or anything like that. Um, so fender's off. I have to remove the side skirt to get the fender off. Um, but it's actually, I needed to get the front end off anyways, because I, I need to adjust the height sensors that are on this for the uh, air suspension. Um, and then that's what, um, see. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up, but yeah, that's what those, that's what that sensor is right there. That's a height sensor, so when the, when the suspension travels up and down, it reads it, and then once it gets to a certain point, when you calibrate it, it'll say, okay, cool, like, we reached where we need to get to, we'll always go there every time, doesn't matter what pressure, we'll adjust the pressure so that we're always within that range, so... That's also one of the things that's been holding me back from moving forward with the car is getting these height sensors to work. Um, I can go get the car aligned the way that it sits just based off of pressure, but it's not accurate and I have the height sensors, so I really want those to work. So now that I'm in an area where I can actually, you know, spend time and work on the car, even if it's raining, like, you know, this thing is covered. I've got a light um, if it gets dark. You know, so it's it's a really optimal, you know, location to be able to work on my car. So, you know, I want to go ahead and get that fixed up. So, not too upset about it. But this is the headlight harness here. Um, I think now it might have to run through 
this door um, hole here. Um, and I might just run it that way. I'm not sure yet, um, but making progress. And uh, I'll, uh, this is my first time having to take apart this harness, so I don't know how deep I'm gonna have to get into it under the dash. But thankfully I don't have anything under the dash. It's all stripped out. Um, but let me get back to it and take off the other side. All right, so gotta cut all these zip ties that are holding up this uh, current harness. So gotta be careful because I don't know um, what's holding what up. So like, this is for my boost by gear. So I don't wanna cut that wire. I mean, I don't wanna cut any wires, but yeah, just gotta be careful. Come on. But yeah, look at this. Horrible. Horrible. So, whew, almost dropped the headlight. But yeah, this is why I needed to replace the harness. So, let me get back to it. All right. So, as always, I always try to be as transparent with everybody because I feel like social media um gives people like the idea that all these builds are so perfect and everything is done you know with super clean work and shit like that and it's truthfully it's not the case um there is builds out there that are you know done correctly without any shortcuts and things like that but my car is definitely not one of them um you know so wiring has always been an issue with my car but dude wiring is so expensive to remedy like Dude, under dash harnesses are so expensive. Um, so I'm slowly just being able to, you know, do what I can. But now I got all of the uh, outside stuff taken care of. So I got to reach up in here and um, try to pull out the, uh, whoops. So I got to reach up in here, try to pull in the headlight harness and um, try, to, try to fish it in actually so we're not pulling it out anymore we're pulling it in and um you know we'll see all right well now i remembered why i put this off for so damn long <laughs> freaking wiring sucks everything's all tied together so like this oh this piece here i'm freaking filming through my glove box but anyway like this here is what i need to pull for the headlight harness yeah, so there you go and who knows what the heck is connected to this on this end so <laughs> oh, I keep freaking recording the inside of the glove box but nah, I gotta feed all this stuff in all right so this one's for all my guys that do wrenching on their own you ever fucking Start wrenching on some shit, and you're like, ah, I'm not gonna take that off. And then you fucking go back, and you're like, fuck, I should have took it off. <laughs> they say, do it once, cry once. So look at all that freaking mess up in there, man. Fuck. Yep, it's gotta get done though. It's gotta get done because I can't drive this car at night. So, yeah. Yep, yep, it's all messed down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh well. I think the entire harness does run through this uh, loom. And uh, part of me just really wants to just cut this shit off. Because I'm not going to fucking strip every single one of these things. And um, way the fuck on that side. That's a lie. I am. I'm going to do it. So... I picked up a, um, let's see if I can do this while holding my phone's flashlight. Got a razor blade and um, just, you know, slowly cutting open all the conduit. And I'm gonna follow the wires one by one. <laughs> it's gonna be tedious, but it has to be done. And, um, you know, I'm honestly, I'm not in a rush. So the worst part about it is that I'm stuck in the sideways angle. And again, all my guys that wrench know that this is probably the worst part is all the weird and awkward angles to be in. Um, but it's going to get done. It's going to be nice. I'm just going to retape all of this stuff uh, when I'm done or, you know, just save this loom and, um, you know, just reloom it all. 
Um, so it's looking like a whole bunch of spaghetti, but we'll be making progress. So I think I'm gonna have to cut some of the wiring anyways, cause it's like bunched up and looped up right there. Um, I never did any of this here. So like I said, um, this harness was kind of cut up already, <laughs> but it's been like eight years and I'm barely addressing it. But like, yeah, I don't, I didn't tape this stuff right here unless that's factory, but I've never um, taken apart a factory harness um, or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna have to cut some of this wiring anyways. Um, so I'm just gonna cut it so that it can get untangled and I can, you know, pull out the right stuff and try to do it as clean as possible. All right, so change of tactic. <laughs> And actually just remove the whole harness and uh, separate it from the outside rather than trying to separate it uh, while it's on the car I figured it'd probably be easier that way and I can actually um, you know decipher what needs to be kept and what doesn't unfortunately I did cut that side and there was some wires that were kind of leading to some other places uh, <laughs> so I'll see what needs to be repaired once the new harness is installed all right, so come to a stopping point, got the fuse box out and got all this freaking spaghetti up in here that I'm going to sort through when there is more sunlight. Um, these mosquitoes are freaking eating me alive and I hate them, um, but making progress. Like I said, just trying to stay optimistic even though I freaking hate doing wiring stuff because it's so freaking annoying. <sighs> but calling it a night, I'm gonna go inside, wash up, and um, just chill. So hopefully I can pick this up tomorrow. Like I said, I'm just trying to balance, you know, um, being a dad, having a newborn, uh, keeping the wifey happy and things like that. So, um, you know, right now the baby's sleeping. So I get to be out here ranching and I told my wifey just to text me, um, you know, once, once the baby's awake and I'll jam inside and help her out with the baby. Um, but like I said, hopefully tomorrow I can make some more progress, but we'll see. And where we pick it up all right so before I went inside I went ahead and just pulled the uh, harness in from that side and it led to these clips here so these are the same clips that are on the new harness um, so I got to undo them from here man like I said just trying to more than likely do this tomorrow when there's more sunlight because I just have my phone <laughs> And it's it's uh, 7:35, and uh, like I said, these skeeters, man, they're freaking, they're getting me pretty good. <sighs> good spot to leave off, though. Good spot to leave off. All right, so it's been about a week or so since I've touched the car, but quick update: got a compressor because I do want to uh, sand down the engine bay and paint it myself. I've done it before. I think you can. I don't know if I have any videos of it, but made some more progress um so <laughs> let me just make this clear don't use these videos as like install videos you know um this is just me working on my car and um sometimes the things that i do aren't gonna be the same things that you need to do in order to uh <laughs> you know get parts installed on your car so what i did is um finally separated I took off the fuse box so I can separate all the wiring because everything was all tangled up. Uh, so I separated everything with zip ties and now I know what goes where. And um, yeah, so that helped out a lot. And all of the excess wires I cut, they're all right there. Um, and then I just taped them back. And uh, as you can see, where is it? Like right there, there's fresh tape. Kind of hard to see, but it's in the loom. But um, it's all fresh tape in there, zip tied up, and you know, just separated everything. So this is just the passenger side. Still gotta work on that freaking abomination over there. <laughs> I was gonna pull out the dash, but like I said earlier, once there's daylight, it makes it easier. It's working at night, that kind of sucks. Um, so I'm kind of taking advantage right now that my kid's sleeping. Um, but getting to it slowly but surely, and uh, just cleaning everything up little by little. So you see, I added some fresh electrical tape and uh, these are the wires that I kind of cut, pulled back. You can see the zip tie. 
and uh, just taped it all up and um, yeah so slowly making progress all right so like I was saying if you're watching these videos don't take it as an install video like it'll work on every other EG hatch this is just for my car because again the wiring has been tampered way before I had it uh, I've had this car for eight years and I never really mess with this wiring so all this has been taped up and this is the part this is the part that had me really confused because this is the headlight harness and then it ran into all I saw was these plugs and this um, so you have to basically undo this grommet pull out the headlight harness so that you can run the tucked one um, so that's basically what I'm doing now and all of that other wiring down there is irrelevant to what I'm doing I'm just cleaning all of that up because I want to clean it up um, so as far as the headlight harness install goes you know I'm almost done with that uh, that passenger side is all done and then this driver's side like I said this is the headlight harness right here um, and before I connect everything I'll lay everything out and show you guys how I did it and again this is just for my car not for every EG out there because um, you know <laughs> the wiring has just been tampered on this car which sucks but it's a 30 year old car and uh, it is what it is but let me keep going on getting this removed and uh, yeah I'll show you guys where I'm at all right, so I've got the harnesses separated, and again, <laughs> I don't, I didn't ever cut these wires right here. So why these are cut, I have no idea. Um, but it came apart with the uh, with the harness. See this other piece right here? I didn't do this. Uh, all the taping that's been done right here, and and the butt connector, I didn't do that. So it's uh, it's been a trip finding like all this new stuff that's coming out so like i said if you're watching this video this is not an install step by step or something that'll work with every eg this is just for my eg so but i'm stoked this is all taken apart and uh, i think i can run the new harness so let me get started on that so like i said i like to separate everything with zip ties and then that just helps me uh locate where all of the wires basically end and where they go to the connectors um and that helps me just clean everything up so this already looks a ton better than it did before freaking mosquitoes man they freaking suck this year but anyways i got these zip ties right here got them off of amazon um you see this hole right here so i'm gonna zip tie this freaking harness and clip it into this hole basically like this uh, but these will be brand new and not brittle um so we're dealing with 30 year old parts in here uh, my car is a 93 and we are in 2023 so for sure 30 year old parts um but this is almost done and then i can go ahead and show you guys what the uh tucked harness looks like all right so i have to cut open this grommet and feed these connectors through um and then these go to the fuse box and here's the entire harness so i was having trouble figuring out why it wasn't reaching from the under dash through the passenger side up to the uh, passenger side um, headlight stuff so uh, i think it's supposed to be ran um this way through the front and um into into the headlight this way uh, which is pretty cool i mean it's not a big deal it's just kind of different Lee ran i was expecting it to run oem but this is uh pretty cool so this is a headlight uh connector and everything is labeled so this is right headlight rhl this is for the fog light switch which is really cool that they incorporate that obviously this is a ground this says rt for right turn signal and this is something that i really really liked cl for city light i have euro spec headlights and these do have uh city light bulbs in them and so the fact that they come with this ready to go um is pretty cool it doesn't state that it has these on their website which is a little bit tricky um, but i'm glad it, it was um i'm glad it was there and then this is your side marker sm and this is really cool too so on their website it shows that it is um a usdm harness only but clearly it'll work with um 
EDM headlights. Uh, so the difference between USDM and JDM headlights, the JDM headlights are plastic, they don't have any nipples, and they have city lights. But JDM headlights use an H4H bulb. Um, Eurospec uses a standard H4 bulb. Um, and I think that's why it states that it won't work with JDM headlights because it doesn't come with an H4H connector. Um, so thankfully, it has everything else for um, like the city lights and the side markers, which is really peculiar. But honestly, um, I think they just all grab them from the same manufacturer and um, they're just, you know, made the way that they are. But really stoked about this. So um, let me finish routing this harness and I'll turn the car on and hopefully we have lights. All right, the dash is out. Thought I was done with the install. Totally not. I think I screwed up by cutting this side off, but I don't know of any other way to have get, gotten it done other than cutting it off. Um, so dash is out, gonna hook up the cluster and um, just gonna try to follow wires and see if I can find where I messed up. Fuse box is on, batteries connected, everything. Um, I get no lights. Um, everything else works, the car will start and everything, but um, no lights, so that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> all right so like i said yesterday i think i cut some stuff that i shouldn't have so i had to go pull out this wiring diagram and um it's this white cable right here i need to find it so that i can you know find where i chopped it off and and i can bridge it and see if that fixes my issue um so that's uh that's where i'm at right now <laughs> That's what I get for just cutting stuff that I wasn't sure if I should cut. But thankfully, I, uh, I found the headlight harness diagram. And I'll be taking a look at this and trying to figure it out. All right, figured it out. <laughs> I'm a dummy. I had these connectors uh, reversed. So um, this is for the, um, the cluster. And then this is for the headlights. Um, so... I'd like to show you the cluster works. Got that turn signal. Right side, the bulb's not connected. Uh, headlight, high beams, works. And then if we come over this way. Dude, this is so cool because now I have functioning headlights. <laughs> I know it's like one of those things that, you know, you're like, whoa, shouldn't you have working headlights anyways? Um, <laughs> but yeah, freaking finally. And so before what would be happening is this headlight wouldn't be on and this headlight would be really dim. Um, so now they're both fully functional, which is really freaking awesome. And I'm really stoked about that. So super excited right now. And I'm glad at this point, it's just a matter of cleaning up the wiring and I don't have to troubleshoot anymore. All right, after freaking damn near losing my mind, I uh, got the right turn signal figured out. So I was taking a look at the harness and I noticed there's this white connector here, right? So there's this white connector and it attaches to the second portion of the harness right there. Now, it doesn't come with any instructions or anything like that. Um, and like I said earlier, this is not something from like Rywire where you can kind of reach out to and get some uh, insight from them. But um, we'll figure, you know, I figured it out. So this white connector here connects to the right side of the turn signal so you'll need to keep that for sure and so earlier in the video i cut everything as you can see because it led it bleh, it leads into the fuse box and then into the main harness over to the fuse box over there um so i had to keep this connector here because this over here I'm assuming is for air conditioning stuff, which obviously I don't have. I have a super stripped down car. Um, but nothing that I was looking at looked like this except for the 
uh, turn signal connector and of course the color on these wires are uh, orange black green um, black will always be ground this is a hot and then this is an uh, intermittent um, so I followed the rest of the harness right and I made sure that no other connectors had that same green um, that same green color and then I went under here and so this is the main connector for the uh, for the headlight harness and I don't see any green or any black in here but I did see it here and so the secondary harness obviously runs up this way and into that connector over there and that's green and black and I'm like dude where the heck does that freaking go into so then I just kind of took a step back you know because that's probably one of the best things to do when working on something and you're getting frustrated just stop take a step back take a breather come back to it at a different time um, so then that popped into my head and I figured dude that's the only thing that makes sense and yeah sure enough I have a fully functional um, I have a fully functional headlight harness now um, so it was functional before but remember this side would hyper flash but not anymore so pretty stoked about that and I got fully functional um, everything here what I like to do is throw the hazards on and then that'll activate all of the lights We got side markers working, we got headlight turn signals working, headlight turn signals, and the side marker working on this side. So, looks like we're all good. Super stoked about that. All right, so I got a chance to get uh, some more wrench time in on the car. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go ahead and route the harness. So as you can see, I got it all bunched up under there. And then up top, you can't really see it. And uh, there's a city light, headlight, corner light, ground. And I just used this bracket. See, I fed everything through the bracket there. And then the corner light through this hole. And I just zip tied everything with a push lock zip tie. And it's all mounted right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same here. See, look at this. Get that nice and tight. And let's see if I could do that with one hand. Get that in there. Come on. I might have to drill the hole bigger. Yeah. But you guys get the idea. <laughs> I'll drill that these two holes bigger. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna route the harness, hard mount it, and then clean it up from the inside. So once I'm done with this, I'll show you guys what this looks like. So here is the finished product. Here's the right side side marker, uh, the harness, under, headlight, city light, and then it runs through the top of the inner cooler. And then again, it got it all bunched up right here, zip tied up. Got it here, mounts through the top, goes in through the door hinge, and then here's the left side side marker. So, pretty happy with this. And then, like I said, Basically at this point, come on door. I have to just clean up the uh, the inner harness, which I'm not looking forward to, but I gotta do it. All right, we got a fully functional harness. So this install is done. Super excited about that. Um, I'll put the bumper on and the front end on later. Um, like I said, just gotta figure out some connectors for here and that'll be done so all good everything's fully functional and uh, of course i'll put the uh, link to this harness in the description below uh, this is the carrot top tuning uh, headlight tuck harness for the 92 to 95 civic and um, yeah so if you made it this far into the install thank you guys for watching Hopefully you guys like this. Um, like I said, don't follow my channel if you're looking for install videos. Follow my channel if you're just looking, you know, for 
me to wrench on stuff um i know this was not like a step-by-step -step kind of deal like i said this was a um this was kind of what worked with my car and the things that have already been done to it um i'm sure it'll help a lot of people um so if it does just drop a comment below and um yeah thank you guys so much for the support catch you guys on the next one peace out and all of the wiring under the dash is clean and all of the wiring under the dash is clean out of the way just got to bolt up this panel and um, I left that lower part of the dash uncovered because I need to run the vacuum line uh, and all of the power cables for the gauges that I have here um, so what I'll be doing now is fixing this radio harness it's been taped up so I'm just gonna take the heat shrink uh, and solder joints and um, clean this up So, as you can see, everything is fully functional now. Yep, everything works, everything's all put away. Nice and clean. Uh, that's just for the wide band. That's gonna get replaced. So, we made it to the end. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, I know, like I've said before, I know it's been a minute since I, uh, since I uploaded and I'm just trying to be more consistent with just trying to balance running my own business and you know um, you know having a family life and shit like that so I'm like stoked finished the headlight harness and um, yeah so if you like the video thumbs up like it comment and then um, you know, hopefully this helps you out again this is what worked for my car because my car's wiring had already been messed with, so who knows what it'll be like for your car. But at least you have a small guideline. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.